The 1913 Liberty Head Nickel, one of the rarest of American coins. It's known as the Lost Nickel. Well, it's been sold at auction for just over $3 million. Paul Montgomery, coin expert, joined Fox Business's hit show, Strange Inheritance. Listen to this. I am the only dealer in the history of our industry that has gotten to tell a family who thought they had nothing that they indeed had millions of dollars. And that is the best thing that happened to me in my career. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I, I could see a smile on your face when you say that kind of thing. Well, the founder and president of Heartland Precious Metals, Paul Montgomery, is with us now. Tell me that moment again, because that is a special moment. You're telling people who thought they got nothing, hey, you got $3 million. Tell us. Well, it gives me chills to think about it yeah. now. It was uh, an extraordinary family, and, and the uh, opportunity for me to, to say, wow, you guys have found more than I thought. I actually offered a million dollars for the coin, and that's how we discovered it. Wow. And to be able to tell them it's worth much, much more than a million dollars, and that, uh, and that we're, going to, we're going to see that coin go up in value for generations to come. So, uh, it, so the, 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 a coin collection was inherited by the family which is featured on Strange Inheritance. And you're the coin guy who said it's worth this, this and this. Had you any inclination, any idea of what coins were in the collection and how valuable they were before you actually got to them? Well, uh, what, what happened after I, I made the uh, offer for the, for the, of the million dollars, uh, I was contacted by the family uh, and when I saw the coin, I, I was prepared to tell them that it was not genuine uh, because it was a coin that was thought to have been lost since 1962. Uh, the family that owned the coin actually had, had the, the uncle, their uncle had, had a, died in a, in a fiery coin, a car crash back in 1962. And so the coin was thought to have been destroyed back then. And so when I made the offer of a million dollars, it was gimmicky. I never thought the coin would actually show up. Why is it worth three million dollars? Is, is there only one of them? No, actually there were five made. Uh, the transitional year between the Liberty Head Nickel and the old Buffalo Nickel that most are familiar with was uh, from 1912 to 1913. And someone made five coins uh, uh, right before they changed the dies to the new design. And they stayed <laughs> hidden for seven years. I love this stuff. I, it, 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 was, you, it was an incredible story. You've you got to take me back to that moment. Was there a moment when you looked into their eyes, the owners of the coin, and you said, you know what? This is genuine, and this is worth a lot more than a million dollars. Was there that moment? That it was, I, I relive it all the time because uh, after we finally uh, were certain that it was an authentic coin, I pulled them aside uh, and I sat down with them and I said three things. I, I said, the coin is absolutely genuine. It's worth much more than a million dollars, and God bless you. <laughs> well done. Well, Paul, it's great having you on the show. Thanks for joining us. Uh, so that is a terrific show, Strange Inheritance. It is a hit show, and we're glad you've taken part in it. Thanks very much, Paul. Good stuff. Thank you.